here is the excellence small refrigerator and unlike most of the products today this one probably is in fact excellent I got this a while ago at the savers for the 20 beans which is a decent price for something like this you know you buy a new one which won't last anywhere near as long they're I believe well over a hundred hours and pretty expensive so this one is well made you know it's got a nice sturdy like how thick that uh, the tray is there it's got to be almost a quarter inch thick the other ones are so flimsy they just uh, bend abysmal came with a little ice tray let's take a look at the informations on the back has a reciprocating compressor I'm not sure what the what the brand is. I don't see any information tags on there. And uh, it's just a it's a fanless condenser, so it's not going to be the most efficient thing out there. But it'll be quiet at least. Uses R12, which is a very good refrigerant. All of 1.2 amps. I'm not sure what they're talking about. Motor 30 watts. Pretty sure there's no fan anywhere on this thing, so I can't imagine what that is. It's got uh, 1.7 ounces of R12. Very nice low pressures. So the coil's not going to leak. Made in the Korea. This probably dates back to at least the 90s, if not the 80s. This information seems to be lacking. Got the uh, schematic here. I have not tried this since I got it. It's been sitting out in the garage for a while. I just brought it in today and let's see if it works. polarized plug continental brand plug this machine's got some weight to it actually you should keep it like this so I can put the camera near the compressor Connected, we got 116 the volts right now. There's the control. I'll go ahead and turn it on and I'll put the camera back here so you can hear the compressor start up. nearly silent point one point zero nine amps ninety one the watch the power factor point seventy two Sounds like it's got a charge. Yeah, definitely. came with some Christmas lights. Interesting. 
Yep, that's cold. Works fine. As would be expected. Because R12 is low pressure, paired with a good quality coil, it'll almost never leak. And this thing even has definitely taken some, some abuse over the years. This is all bent up here. And this is bent in like something hit it. I'm not going to mess with it. Because if it's not leaking now, it's definitely not impairing the flow of the refrigerant. You just leave it alone. Because I'm going to start messing with it and then something's going to break. So, the same thing with this here. This obviously is not supposed to be bent in like that. But uh, it's not going to affect it at all. So, oh, this is getting warm already. One thing that doesn't quite make sense is why the, why the, uh, oh, I guess it's not really, I don't know, the uh, low, low pressure side there is a bit close to the, to the heat of the condenser, but, yeah, this is, uh, this is quite warm already. Yep, working good. Ice cold. Very nice. Okay, so this is working good. Just over an amp. Not bad at all. That's why I don't understand why people say, oh, these old refrigerators are not efficient. Yeah, they are. They are probably more efficient than the junk they make today. Nice and quiet too. Really quiet. And hearing the refrigerant flowing in there is pretty cool too. Yeah, it needs a good cleaning. Um, this is kind of more scratched than dirty. Um, put that through the dishwasher. It's got some junk on the bottom of it. There's a little crack in the door. But uh, it should be able to be glued up just fine. Ice tray, I have a couple ice trays in there. Yeah, this is a good little unit. I think what I will do is I may use this kind of like intermittently. Like when I have a party or something, I'll put this on and use it for like cans of soda or something because what happens right now is I just put everything in the refrigerator in the kitchen and then I get agitated because I'm cooking, I'm going in and out of the refrigerator. People keep going in there for drinks and I can't get to the food. So if I could put all the drinks in here, then that would kind of alleviate that problem of people coming into the refrigerator and blocking up the refrigerator. Plus it would give me a couple more ice trays too. Probably could fit uh, two regular ones. Uh, yeah, probably two regular ones plus that one maybe. So, alright, so this is working. It's getting nice and cold in here. I don't know where uh, it's going to need to sit on the temperature uh, dial there, but we'll figure that out. You know, it, need, it definitely needs a good cleaning. I want to junk and garnum on there, but I'm sure it'll look nice once it's cleaned up and it'll probably serve reliably for decades to come. <laughs>